Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and this amazing Nux 3 series, I am Aditya. In this video, we will see concept of routing and components. Without any further ado, let's begin. Okay, so in the last video, we created the project and just have this simple, uh, this welcome page, this, whole, this is home page as a title over here. Now, by this time you have noticed that this app.view was the only app like or the only view file that we were provided so this app.view actually is the main entry file or the main file of this nux3 project or of our entire project now this app.view will be rendered when you or when anyone visits your website and this app.view will render all your pages as well so if you remember in view 3 we have app.view then main.js and index.html now as nux3 renders on a server by default so that's why we don't have here index.html because it creates that index.html uh, by the server or on the server because nux3 or nux app comes with built-in node.js support so if i go back over here to prove it if i go to view page source we will see this title this is home page if this was single page application which shouldn't have seen anything over here so this means this is all created during server time or runtime or at the server side so but this app.view is very important now next thing is how can we add routing now to add routing let's say if your web app, web app requires routing we just have to create a simple folder which is pages now inside this pages we can create our routes we will see this routes in detail but let's just create some basic routes and then we can see how we can have dynamic uh, parameters and all those things but here let's add a simple home route so here i'm going to say new file index.view so index.view whenever it whenever nuxt encounters this file index.view it knows that this is going to be the root route for that project or this folder or that route so let's create here a simple so i'm using actually an extension which is this view vs code snippets to quickly scaffold this so here now what we need to do is let's create something like uh let's keep it div and let's call it this is new home page now if we go back over to our website over here uh okay now you will notice that it says root folder not found now if you even refresh the page and say to go back to home it will just show this like root on page not found the reason being like even if we like let's say restart this just to see if it really works even after restart so let's give it a try and you will again see that page not found the reason being we have created this index.view but we are not bringing it in our app.view so how can we bring this in our app.view well it's very simple nuxt provides us with a special component which is nuxt page and now if we save this our index.view whenever someone uh, goes to our root uh, website or localhost website or our root route our index.view will come over here so if i go back refresh this page and there we go this is new home page so this is how routing works in nux so let's create another route let's create let's say about dot view just in case if you have that about route then let's create about dot view for that now here okay let's remove all this and let's give this again which one this is about page now if we go back over here again and put here forward slash about there we go oh, okay let's quickly refresh this and also restart this there we go and we have our about page so whenever you add a new route or new page over here just make sure if you're on uh, like if you could they cannot see the page just reload it but also make sure that you have added nux page component over here now what's happening here like how come it knows that about.view goes for about index.view goes to root well behind the scene it uses view router and this type of routing is known as file based routing so file system based routing so whatever file name you create you here that route it's created automatically so if i create about.view route then the route for forward slash about the component associated for this would be about.view all this mapping happens behind the scene for us now let's try to see how we can add components so let's create a components folder 
components and make sure you name this folder as components i'll tell you why we have to name it components now here let's create a component let's create something like uh, title.view which will be just our simple title component which is gonna be just h1 tag and let's put a slot and now let's use this in our about.view so instead of uh, this is about page with h1 let's try to do it with title component okay, let's rename this to custom title because it is getting which i'll tell you which title it is referring to it is referring to that head meta title title thing so here we will keep it as custom title and let's name it again over here custom title custom title now if we go back over here you'll see we have our component rendered there now what's happening here how come I just put the cast component name and well i didn't write any import statement or anything well the good thing about nuxt is it auto imports components composables and certain view features or most of the view features so in this case when you create a folder with name components it knows that whenever you write a component name it will go inside that components folder and look for that component name if that component name doesn't exist then it will throw an error saying that component not found or something like that but just we need to make sure that we create a folder with name components that's why i said the naming here matters like you need to make sure you're creating it with the name components now what if we have a nested component let's say we have something like this we have a dashboard and inside that dashboard we have let's say uh, home component or some component like this like inside dashboard folder we have that component now let's give it some name let's uh, or sorry let's write some view code here so let's say this is dashboard home now how can we bring this component inside our about.view well it's pretty simple all we need to do is we need to follow the naming structure so here it's inside the dashboard so we just need to type the folder name first dashboard then inside dashboard there is home so we type it home like this now what we need to make sure here is the name like the folder name uh, comes first and when we have to give the component name it comes with the capital letter so we just follow the camel case syntax and also the component's name starts with the uh, capital letter so let's save this and see on our about.view there we go this is our dashboard home page oh sorry this is dashboard home now what if we want to lazy load this component because as this component is auto imported so how come we have it lazy loaded well it's pretty simple wherever we whichever component we want to lazy load we just put lazy in front of it like this uh, we keep the name as it is but we just put here lazy like this and if we go back this component will be lazy loaded so this is how you could have lazy loading and also components being auto imported in your Nux3 app. So that's all in this video. In the next video, we will see the concept of layouts and we will see how can we have dynamic route parameters. So see in the next video. Till the next time. Goodbye.